All right, Zach's got a fish. And put in the power, get that workout in. I know. On the Neosho River in Oklahoma, Brian's got a beautiful paddle fish. All right, Shane's got one on, third fish. Hooked up almost immediately after the last one. Oh, that's a good fish. Alright, so this is our first time cooking spoonbill, but basically we got the fillets and Brian's cutting off the red meat and the skin and we're gonna shish kebab it. Apparently grilling it on a shish kebab is pretty good. You can see there's some red meat right there, so we're trying to cut deep enough so it's just all the white meat and kind of right by the skin there's some of that red meat. So if we cut a little deeper we can get rid of that red meat. So you can see if you cut this deep the red meat's gone. If you just cut barely under the skin you still got that red meat and that's what makes it taste bad. So we're cutting about right here just to make sure all that red meat's gone. We got the nice white meat, no red meat, and that should taste really good on a shish kebab. All right guys, so here's the filet. The, uh, this is probably a tenth of it or so of the meat, and uh, maybe a sixth off that 40 pound fish. We got about 10 pounds of meat off the 40 pounder, and we tried to trim off all the red meat we could. Now we're gonna dice it into cubes and put it on a kebab and uh, shish kebab. It should come out pretty good. We got two shish kebabs here of just paddlefish fillets. This is probably one seventh of if that of one paddlefish we caught for today. And so we've used some New Orleans Cajun on some, some um, herb and garlic seasoning on the other, and then some I just had pure plain just to kind of get the taste without any seasoning. If you can see it's all white. We made sure to remove all that red meat that was by the skin, and we got some real nice one by one inch cubes on these shish kebabs. It should turn out great. We got a grill over here, and it's we got some hickory wood actually burning. So we should have some really good flavors on these paddlefish meats. I'm really anxious to try this. I've never had paddlefish before, so it'll be a new experience for all of us. But a lot of meat that we caught today between four of us, and several 40 pounders, and uh, some 20 and 30 pounders. So plenty of meats. We're gonna be having paddlefish for a while, but we're gonna grill it over here, and it should turn out great. All right. All right, here's our hickory and the charcoal cooking these shish kebabs of paddlefish. We're all ready to dig in. Looking forward to it, lakeside view while cooking it all on Grand Lake. How's it going, Brian? Roasting away on the hickory fire. Coming along. All right, guys, this is my first time trying paddlefish. We went ahead, shish kebabed it, grilled it on a hickory fire. And it, now that it's real tender, it flakes real easily, I'm gonna go ahead and try a piece. This is the garlic and herb seasoning. It doesn't have a fishy taste, I will say that. I don't really pick up any fishy taste. And it's very wholesome. You can get huge chunks of meat. It feels like you're almost eating steak to a degree. It's just so thick. Like normally smaller fish, like crappie, white bass, you get in a smaller, thinner filet. But these are so thick and they're, you cut them into steaks and you shish kebab them. It kind of feels like I'm eating pork. Actually, I, this tastes kind of like in between fish and pork if I had to like guess what it was. If I was completely blindfolded, I'd be tempted to say this is almost like pork. The way this is prepared in the, the steaks is really tender. But I would say it's almost a cross between pork and fish. This is actually really good. The paddlefish is great eating. I will say it's not quite as good as the walleye, the white bass, maybe the crappie. In my opinion, it's better than catfish. A lot of people are going to hate that, and it's also better than a lot of other freshwater fish I've tried. It just really falls apart if you cook it right. So is it good, bad, and different? I could eat it every day. Yeah, I, I really think it's good. Just not quite as good as some freshwater species, but definitely up there. Like, mm -hmm. definitely not something to be overlooked. No. And there's no bones. Yeah, that's cheap. the nice thing about it is you have these massive cubes. Right. It's a ton of meat all at once, and it's good tasting. Walleye crappie, it's so much work for a little bit of meat per fish. But this, just I mean, it's chunks. just a massive chunk of just great eating fish. Important. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Shane, how do you like the paddlefish? So just far, finishing it off. Yeah, so far I like it. Um, 
Yeah, it definitely kind of has like a uh, pork-like consistency. I will say that. Uh, yeah, definitely the hickory smoke. Definitely add some good flavor to it. So final conclusion, five different people tried the paddlefish. All five people loved it. Um, they thought it was some of the better fish that they've had. Maybe not quite as good as white bass and walleye, but definitely up there. And the thing is, is it doesn't really have the fishy taste and it almost doesn't even taste like fish. It almost tastes like meat from an animal because it's so thick. Um, for me, it tastes the most like pork than anything. It still doesn't taste like pork, but that's the best I could describe it. Definitely add some lime. We started adding that at the end and that made it taste a lot better, but we devoured about five pounds of paddlefish between us all in like no time at all. So it's excellent eating. Despite what people say, I would really recommend shish kebabing it and grilling it. Get some garlic and herb seasoning or some New Orleans Cajun and uh, hickory grill. You can't go wrong with that. And then add some lime and it will taste great. Trust me. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. And as always, thanks for watching. I found the best way to cook these paddlefish is by far to shish kebab them and grill them. I cannot beat it. Throw on some New Orleans Cajun seasoning or some garlic and herb seasoning and then just cut them into like one by one inch squares and a good tip guys is if you can get some lime it tastes amazing so just crush a little bit of lime on there and so far everyone that i've had try paddlefish for the first time has absolutely loved it and that's really good there's really not much of a fishy taste and you know it's done when it flakes real easy and that seasoning in the lime just really brings out a lot of flavor. That is great eating, guys. So if you're ever cooking paddlefish, definitely shish kebab it. One by one inch squares. Just cook it till it flakes. And it is excellent, guys. You can't beat it. So hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, good luck fishing.